rappers that we all get it Don't give in to the pain, just keep living cause What's up guys, it's Toby Rosario, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about, I've been getting this question a lot uh, because I made a, uh, my, one of my post, most popular videos, uh, how I can make uh, a thousand calls a day, and uh, so I no longer cold call. Before I continue, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, that way you can notify whenever I post a new video. Also, don't forget in the description, there is a free mind map. Uh, it's essentially a uh, free real estate course. Uh, I have the scripts, uh, marketing channels, um, everything you need. It's essentially a free real estate course. All you have to do is sign up, put your email in, and you get access to that free mind map, uh, free of charge, and it's essentially a free real estate course. It's in the description uh, where it says free mind map. Um, but <clears throat> so, uh, you know, m that video, uh, I made a video how I was. Uh, able to make a thousand calls a day, right? Cold calling. And that was around last year. Um, and I, what I was using was a triple line dial, uh, dialer. Like, uh, you know, essentially what that does is it's going to call three numbers at the same time, whichever answers first, then you're, you're going to answer. As soon as you've done that call, it's going to go to the next call and then so on and so forth. So you, you, you can make, you know, two to 300 calls in an hour, right? So that's how you're able to do that. Um, you're able to do that with a triple line dollar. Uh, and you can even do more calls at a time. Like you can do three, four, five, six. It, it'll call these amount of people. And then uh, whoever picks it first, it'll leave them a message. And like it's it's very efficient if you're doing a high volume uh, cold calling. So the reason I decided to stop that, um, I want to be very clear. Um, every marketing channel works. Cold calling, RVM, SMS, direct mail, Facebook, driving for dollars, PPC, whatever it is, it works. You just have to do it consistently, right? But here's what I found, and you have to be transparent. You have to be self-aware of who you are and the type of person you are, right? So me personally, um, the reason uh, I gave up that route, that marketing channel, uh, is because me personally, I'm an introvert. Right. Um, I rather have uh, inbound marketing where people are calling me. So that's why I love personally direct mail. I love to send out direct mail and people call call me. Right. So they're calling me. So now I know I'm in control. Right. They're calling me because they got a postcard saying that I might be interested in purchasing the property. So right off the bat, I feel like I'm in more control. Number one. Number two, I feel like they're a little bit more motive. They're, they're going to be a lot more motivated because they decided to pick up the phone after they, um, they they saw that postcard that you might be interested in purchasing the property or cash, right? And then number three is just I feel a lot more um, comfortable with inbound as opposed to outbound, right? Outbound, um, essentially, it's it, it's essentially that's what it is. It's it's, it's 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 a cold call, right? You're not. It's not like specifically targeted. Uh, you, you, you're going to be calling all types of people. Uh, so they might not be, you know, as motivated as someone who is calling you from a direct mail piece or from Facebook marketing or from, you know, whatever the, whatever the case is. So for me, uh, you know, number one, it took a, it took a lot of calls. Uh, I had like a five, five, six thousand list that I had to go through. Uh, it took a lot of time. I wasn't willing to hire the workout because I didn't feel that they would be able to uh, be as uh, as sharp as me if I had, if I outsourced it. So I didn't want to go that route. It was and then I would have had to train, and then it was it would have been too much for me. I, I didn't want to go that route. Can it work? I 100%. There's people that do it. They have cold callers. They have ten cold callers. They have excellent cold callers. They have all their systems dialed in, um, so it works. I, I don't want to uh, remove the fact that it actually works, but for me, uh, I. I want a marketing channel that I know that I can sustain. Um, so for me, I kind of realized early on that, you know, making five, 6,000 uh, cold calls or 10,000 cold calls was not for me. Uh, I just don't, you know, 
when you do it enough, you're going to get comfortable, right? So it's not that I wasn't comfortable. I just, it, it just, although I was overcoming that uncomfortableness, uh, it's just, I, I like inbound. I like people calling me. I like when they leave a voicemail and saying, I got a property, one, two, three, Main Street. I'm interested in something. Give me a call back. I call them back. We talk about getting that property uh, sold, right? Uh, you know, purchased. Uh, so for me, it was just my personality. I wanted to go what what best suits for me, what I like personally as far as marketing channels, especially since I'm the one that's spending the marketing channel, my company. So, you know, I'm very self-aware of what, what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are. So uh, I still do cold calling. I want to be very clear, but I don't do high volume cold calling. With, when I'm making thousands of calls a day, I don't have a big list. What I do is, what, as far as cold calling, so if I'm not, if like if I have to skip trace a, a list from direct mail where the direct mail came returned, uh, where there's driving for dollars, and I have to skip trace that, I'll compile a list and then I cold call them individually, uh, like 50 to 100 addresses, up, or uh, yeah, 50 to 100 addresses. Well, I'll skip trace that list and I'll cold call them individually with just with just call rail, a single line dialer. It's not it's not gonna be I'm not gonna be dialing out 50, 60, 70 calls in an hour. I'm not gonna be banging that out. I'm gonna individually call those numbers. It's a very small list. Um uh, and that's that's the way I do it. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way about cold calling, if it's something that you enjoy. Some people enjoy it. I personally, I'm an introvert. That's not where, like, I even though I can do it, I've done it, um, it's not something that I know I can sustain because I just know my personality. I'd rather have people calling me saying that they're interested in selling and, and as opposed to me calling them and finding out, hey, is that something you'd be interested in? Uh, is that property you'd be interested in selling? Whatever the case is, right? So I like inbound marketing as opposed to outbound, um, but there can be a mixer too. Like when you do RVMs, you're sending out ringless voicemails. And then it turns into inbound, right? And same with, with text. So, but for me, that's essentially why I quit cold calling. Let me know in the comments if you face the same issue or if you struggle with it or, and I'll have the link somewhere in here or in the description of that video I'm talking about. That's my time. My name is Tobias Peace.